Okay, so I'm recording this from my phone because I need to test it out anyway. So, um, sorry if this is retarded, but Deathly Hollows, let's talk about it. Okay, first, I don't even know where to start. Um, well, I can't really say that I'm disappointed because it is exactly like I expected it to be. Um, it's exactly like the book, pretty much. I'm kind of mad that they, like, embellished what they embellished and then didn't, like, change anything else. Which is funny, because normally you don't want them to change anything, but I hate the, f like, first billion pages of Deathly Hollows because it's boring. And I was really expecting them not to sit in a tent for the whole thing. But guess what? They sat in a tent for the whole thing. And I was mad, and it was, it was retarded. It was so boring, and I'm sorry. I, I was, I was seriously bored. And, um... I think the best part was the ministry. When they went to the when they changed and the other people went to the ministry. That was the funniest. I don't even that guy, Runcorn or whatever, should play Harry Potter for the rest of his life. He that was he was so good. I don't even all three of those actors were like phenomenally amazing. I really was sitting there like, Oh my god, that that's 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 Harry but no. But they were so good at picking up the um other people's you know what I'm saying mannerisms oh god um and stuff and I really they they really acted like their counterparts but anyway that was the best was the funniest crap Ron as with the that guy with the mustache and uh I'm kind of mad that they didn't he didn't I, I'm pretty sure that Harry took um, Moody's eye from Umbridge's door, but they didn't show it, and he didn't give it to anybody, and it was, like, never mentioned again. So that was dumb, and I was mad. Um, but everything else was cool. And I love when Ron really thought, he was like, but my wife, she's all alone and downstairs. <laughs> it was funny. Um, but that, that entire... That that was the best part of the movie. Um, aside from that locket, minus naked Dan Rad and, and oh, it was gross. I felt so bad for Emma having to kiss him. That part of the locket was crap. But the rest of that was awesome. And I don't, I'm sorry. I don't, <laughs> I don't get so mad because Harry's such a hypocrite. Like. When Ron gets angry and he's all like, well, you wouldn't know how that is because you don't have parents. And then Harry's all like, Biatch, what you say? And he gets all upset about it. But then in the fifth movie, Harry says that himself. He's all like, Ron's like, S says, I don't even remember what Ron says about parents. And then Harry is like, well, I wouldn't know, would I? Because I don't have any. I'm like, you little whiny Biatch, just go away. Um, anyways. Malfoy Manor is epic, and with everything, I miss the peacocks, but I can live with that. Um, like, I skipped over the entire movie because nothing happened. I don't know what was up with Alan Rickman's hair, but it was, like, gorgeous, and, like, it was, like, luscious, and I was like, wave. I was like, whoa, somebody, somebody got new shampoo, and... <laughs> Um, I'm mad that they left Tonks, or not Tonks, but Ted, Ted Tonks and Dean out, um, from when they were in the tent. Since we had to sit through the stupid tent, we might as well have gotten all of it, but we didn't. Um, and it was really retarded how they explained everything that they didn't want to put in the beginning. <laughs> Or they that they left out of other movies, like stupid Tonks just walking in and being like, hey, guess what? We got married. Oh, also, we're going to have a, oh, we were interrupted. Now you don't know what, what I was going to say. And, like, that whole, that was stupid. Um, I would say that the 
the multiple Harry scene was my favorite, but I can't because I saw that in in a TV spot before I went to the movie, so I already knew that was going to happen. So it wasn't as awesome as it would have been had I not seen it, but um, it was pretty awesome when I first saw it. But then I went to the movie and I'd already seen it, so it didn't even measure up close to the ministry scene, which was awesome. Um, I don't even know what else happened, honestly. Um, Xenophilius' house, that was redonkulous. I'm, oh God, that, okay, yeah, let's talk about that, let's talk about that. What? Hi, uh, I, I am trying to get my daughter back. So, I'm going to capture Harry Potter, and then call the Death Eaters, and then they'll give her back to me, right? Okay, good job, that makes sense. But, then... When I call the Death Eaters, instead of coming in to try and, you know, get Harry like they're supposed to, no, 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 let's just forget all that and just have them kill, kill my house. That's, I was like, really? Apparently, it, it would have taken them, like, seriously two seconds to explain that the Death Eaters were going to give back Luna if Xenophilius got Harry. Two seconds, Xenophilus could have just said it and then walked out the door, but no. Instead, he's all like, Voldemort, and then the Death Eaters just pop out of nowhere and destroy his house. Of course, it was, I was, that was stupid. It was stupid and unnecessary, and I hate you, Steve Close, because I know it's your fault. It's also your fault that Harry and Hermione are all slow dancing and being gross. Get over it, it's not gonna happen. God, anyway. Um, so, Bill Nye was only in there for five seconds, which was kind of sad, but necessary, and I still love him, he's so hot. Don't judge me. Um, it's really going to suck if the sound on his phone doesn't work. Um, anyway, I don't remember. LOL at Dobby's death. Everybody in the theater was like, <laughs> Me and my friend, oh my god, it took everything I had not to crack the frick up. Because not only did they drag that crap out, like you, like, I don't even, it was like 10 minutes long, or it felt like it was 10 minutes long, and I'm like, O-M-G, he just got stabbed, he wasn't even in the movies like he was in the book, no one cares. And I was just like, get over it. But they're all like, <laughs> for like 10 minutes, and then everybody in the theaters are like, and I'm just like, <laughs> and then, oh my god, Luna closes his eyes and says, there, it's like he's sleeping. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. And my friend, my friend like died. And I was just like, oh my god, this be over, please. <laughs> It was stupid. It was so dumb. And then Shell Cottage isn't even a cottage. like a house. I don't even... Anyway, not a fan of the first half of this movie. I'm pretty sure that the second one is going to be, like, uber better. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they also went to the graveyard and didn't um, take disguises because they're retarded. And... Their reasoning for this is because this is, w I don't even remember, this is where I, where I grew up or where my parents died. I don't want to come here to someone else. I'm like, okay, you can explain that, but you can't freaking have Xenophilus tell Harry, Ugh. hate you, Steve Close, hate you. I wish you would just go away and stop. Anyway, um, yeah. So, that's all. Yes. Coming! Um, Hopefully this works. Hopefully my phone doesn't like die. I got a new phone, so I'm trying to see. But anyway, that's my thought on the first half of Deadly Hollows. Um, I probably forgot stuff. If I did, I'll make another video. It's whatever. Because if this works, I can make videos wherever I want, whenever I want, from wherever I am, and just upload them straight to YouTube. I don't have to have my stupid computer with me at all times. So cross your fingers. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm more excited for the second half. Yep.